In this video, I'm gonna be testing out these nine different aggressive inline flat frames. I'm gonna be putting them through a series of tests to test kind of their wheel bite protection, how they are at gaps, how they are at rails, etc. And I'm gonna be using these, these Faction Tactical V1 boots. I've been using these for a number of months. They're my favorite skates that I've used. I wanna give a massive shout out to everyone who let me use their frames, who lent me their frames for this video. Uh, it means the world to me. This video would not be possible without you. So the goal of the video is to put each frame through the exact same test using the exact same wheels, which are gonna be the Undercover Team uh, 60 millimeter and 90A wheels, except for the high-low frames that we're gonna be using that require their own special wheels. Let's get into some of those tests that we're gonna be doing right now. We're gonna start out the test on this ledge right here just to see what kind of wheel bite protection that each frame has and uh, we're gonna start off with a back royale on this ledge then we'll do a back farve, we'll do a top sole, and we'll do a front side. From there we're gonna come on over to this rail right here. We're gonna test the boot down angle so we're gonna do another back royale. Then we're gonna test out the front torque capabilities on each frame and then we'll finish it up with everyone's favorite, the alley-oop unity, the front savannah, the crisscross apple. From there, we're gonna move into the 540 test. So I'll come blasting down to this bank and then charging up to this bank right wait, here. Wait, wait, wait. Whoops. Hey, what's up, buddy? How's it going? Wait, wait. I'll come uh, charging uh, up to this bank and do the biggest 540 that I can reasonably do. This is gonna test a couple things. It'll test, of course, the power transfer coming up to it. It'll test kind of the speed that they carry. And then of course the landing. So the kind of the shock, how harsh is the landing for each one of those. And then to finish everything out, I will come blasting down this quarter, coming through here. And we are here at Matt Hoffman Skate Park, which has some of the biggest transitions I've seen at a public park. So we're gonna finish it out with a big, big carve around this. I mean, it's probably almost 13 feet tall, 12 feet tall including some oververt, some near oververt. And so that's gonna round out the tests. And again, you can check out everything I skate in this video down in the description below. I'm excited to test this out. If you end up liking the video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Let's go ahead and put our first pair of frames on and put them to the test. Now, most of these frames, I really haven't skated very much, maybe once, maybe twice, maybe not at all. So I'm excited to test them all out. The first one we're gonna be doing here is the uh, the them skates street frame here. So before actually just jumping right onto these grinds and into these tests I am gonna kind of just roll around the park uh, just to get a feel just a general feel for the frames a couple people asked like you know or mentioned like hey You'd probably be better off using a smaller wheel and it's true man I, I totally get that like if I had my choice I'd probably be using Michael Vitzman's 55 millimeter pro wheel, but um, with these wheels This is basically um, what I got you know what I mean these are 60 60 millimeter 90a wheels but they are kind of worn in uh, they're probably like 57s or 58s at this point so they are worn down a little bit they're not brand new wheels right so they have somewhere they have a handful of sessions on them we shall see how they work I want to get this line really quick before I officially get started but uh, let's see if I can get it real quick All right, that's it, no more. Back Royale, see how it goes. All right, back Farb. All right, topsail. Moving on over to the rail for a back royale. Here we go for front torque. This uh, might get a little interesting. A little bit of squeakies on that one. We'll give it another go. Time for the old alley -oop unity. Okay, time for the 540 test. All right, we'll finish it up with a nice big bull carve.
Okay, so there's the Them Street frame. First out of the gate, uh, nice and solid frame. Felt good, got a couple squeaks. We'll see how they stack up against the next ones. All right, next up we're gonna be skating the Adapt Symmetrics frames here, which if I'm not mistaken are made out of UHMW. So they're very, very durable, Very should be very fast sliding. Adapt Symmetrics. channel action on the first go. That one felt extra fast. slide like glass. feel really, really fast on the big transitions. I was going a little bit higher than I even wanted to. I'm, the groove is a lot, is much kind of narrower. So I hit the channel, I hit the channels a couple times. So boot down tricks seem a little bit steeper than the, uh, than the street frames. And uh, the groove itself, right, has a little bit more of an abrupt, almost right angle, if that makes sense, right? So I felt like I was almost teeter-tottering on some of the groove tricks, if that makes sense. Uh, the frames seem to slide very, very fast. Certainly faster than the, than the street frames, at least just as a back-to-back -back comparison. But that, uh, that UHMW slides real fast, so there's that too. Next up in our frame gauntlet are the Sola street frames here, courtesy of Clark Kirkman, thank you very much. Uh, they do have a custom 3D printed H block here. A little bit of wheel bite protection. They are the first metal frames that we're testing uh, today, so uh, we can expect probably a little bit more tra power transfer, but also a little bit more harshness. We'll run that one back real quick. The boot down angle feels really good. The frames overall slide, slide well. Um, lots of power transfer on that big oververt bowl carve. Lots of power, lots of power. That's to be expected. Um, overall, I like the frame a lot. All right, next up for the frame gauntlet challenge here are the Wish medium frames. So some of these apex wheels and then the dead wheels here. So these will be some of the high-low frames that actually use different wheels, but uh, yeah, I'm excited.
So I've heard a lot of people say they like wish frames a lot and they swear by wish frames and now I see why. They're super fast. They actually don't feel, I don't know, maybe I'm just imagining things here, but they actually don't seem to feel quite as tall as I was thinking they were gonna feel. Slid nice and fast, felt nice and solid. Next up for our frame gauntlet here are going to be the brand new ground control Featherlight 4s here. Never skated these, but lots of wheel bite protection. I'm excited to check them out. So, here we go. Seems to, I think it's just user error, but it seems to be kicking me out of the groove. So we'll see if I can get it on this one. Um, I got kicked out of the groove a couple times on those back farves. I think that was probably mostly user error. Oh, you know what? I never did the rail tricks. Huh. I gotta go back and do my do the rail trick. I was just thinking, like, how did the front torque go? I do like them on the rails for sure. Uh, maybe it was just the ledges was a little bit wonky, but on the rails, everything I just did on the rail felt really, really smooth. Again, I think it's partially because these frames are brand new, um, but very, very smooth, slid like butter. The groove feels really good on rails. Maybe it's just ledges I need to break them in on, but overall, I like the uh, Featherlight 4s. Okay, next up, we are gonna skate the new everything frames. T-neck, T-N-E-C. Have a pretty unique H block here. They had an issue with a little bit of bowing, and I think these have a little bit of bowing, so there is like a slight rocker to them and, until I guess you wear in the wheels, which I guess even when you wear in the wheels on normal frames, there's a slight rocker. But anyway, let's bolt them up and uh, test out the new everything frames. T neck. Uh, so one thing I should kind of clarify about the T-neck frames here is that I mentioned that they were a little bit bowed, meaning almost they have like a banana rocker right out of the box. That was only the case with like kind of the first batch or two. I guess they took them out of the molds a little bit too soon before they were completely, I guess, hardened and cured. So after they took them out too early, they uh, afterwards kind of warped a little bit and bowed. Uh, so if you go to buy some today, that should not be the case. Just to kind of clarify that. They feel tall, they do feel tall. So the boot down angle is, is pretty significant. Considering I just skated wish frames earlier, that's kind of interesting to be honest. Um, like I said, the banana rocker makes them feel a little bit squirrely, but I'm sure uh, when they're not, you know, the batches that are not banana rockered unintentionally, I'm sure they feel a lot more stable. But for what it's worth, that 540 was the best, probably the best feeling 540 I've done all day. So lots of power transfer. These, these frames are very thick they're very stiff. Yeah, not my favorite frames for sure. I think uh, the groove is pretty unique and not really to my liking. Just because I like or don't like one of these frames doesn't mean that you won't or will. Isn't that right? Yes. It totally is right. Okay, next up on the frame, got flat frame gauntlet. Here are another set of frames that I've never skated before. Thank you very much, Alex Alexa, for letting me use your Cultic V1s here. I've heard some very good things. Very unique H block, very unique uh, wheel bite protection on these. I guess these are the V1s. The V2s, I guess, are rockerable, if I'm not mistaken. So.
uh, definitely in my top couple favorites so far, just because they're very intuitive, not a very steep learning curve to these, at least from what I can experience so far. Said it before, the Bhutan angle is not extreme. Um, overall, it just feels like a very um, easy frame to transition to from a usually anti-rocker skater. Um, the H-block profile, definitely gonna take some time to sort of uh, get used to, just cause it's very unique and the contour, the profile is a little bit interesting, but overall, give them, a, give them a solid thumbs up. So the second to last frames that we are going to test, thank you Whoopi for letting me use your, very expensive, I did not realize how expensive these were, these master blades here. They're kind of a metal cord, but a uh, injection molded sidewalls here with what appears to be a UHMW H block. Yeah, 60 millimeter, 92A, Philip Moore, they, them, pink wheels, and then on the inside, uh, they have these four, I think they're 47 97s. So they're like anti-rockers, they're 47 millimeter, 97 alpha wheels, but they actually roll. I mean, the one thing I really, really like about them a lot here, is it exposed? Is it, there we go. One thing I really like is that they basically just grind like anti-rocker frames. Because they're basically anti-rocker frames, but the anti-rockers ride flat. So grinding is a dream. The UHMW H-Block here. I will say that they, these feel like the slowest frames that I skated today. They're very, very smooth and solid feeling frames. But I don't know if it's because those smaller anti-rockers slow it all the slow it down but it just seems like um these don't carry quite as much speed as the other ones do great frames definitely not my favorite probably my favorite for grinding i'll say that they're they're my favorite for grinding um but as an overall flat frame that speed is that speed is a little bit of an issue for me okay last up on the flat frame gauntlet here are the kaiser soul frame 60s so they're one piece of aluminum here for the finale here to the uh, flat frame gauntlet and uh, see how I like them. One thing too, they do have one-sided hardware, so that's nice, especially when you're swapping out so nine different frames in a day, it saves a little bit of time. So let's bolt them up and see how they do. So when you're grinding, it just seems like a lot of, just a, like I said earlier, like a lot of metal. You can just, you're very aware when you're skating that this metal is kind of scraping on a lot of different things, which is fine. I'm sure it's, again, it's another thing to get used to. Um, yeah, just a very interesting, again, the H-block profile I like. The power transfer is really good. No surprise there. The boot down angle feels good. It's just the inconsistency on sliding. Like I am a grinder blader. I grind. It's the inconsistency on sliding and it's 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 very noticeable. It's very noticeable. So the the metal feedback is kind of cool. I'll see you back at the house. Seven hours from start to finish that I spent at the skate park and I was working the whole time. So it was an experience, but now I want to rate these or rank them from uh, these nine different flat frames from nine all the way to one. Nine being the one I liked the least. 
and then one being the one I liked the most. And again, I just want to emphasize here, I skated each one of these for 15 or 20 minutes a piece. Take this with a grain of salt. This is just based on my kind of 15 minute impression. Your preference may be drastically different than mine. So please do not base your purchases solely off of what I tell you in this video. This is just, again, like a fun kind of entertaining video that I slapped together. So anyway, I'm going to share with you my thoughts. I'm going to rank them from nine to one. Let's go ahead and get started. So in number nine, the one I liked the least, um, this may not come as a huge surprise, but it's the Kaiser Aluminum Soul Frame 60s here. Um, I guess, you know, I'm not going to spend a huge amount of time because it'll, you know, this video is already going to be super long. But basically, um, these are just heavy. Again, I feel like there's a lot of like sh almost like sharp edges that seem to get like almost ca not caught on things, but it's just a lot of heavy metal and the inconsistently with this the inconsistency with the sliding i just i can't really get past um i don't i don't see the huge draw for these i do like the h block but overall uh these are the ones i like the least so these get number nine this one came as a surprise to me and it's probably going to come as a surprise to you because so many people like these frames but uh all things considered and coming in at number eight are the the new everything company frames the t-neck frames just the the shape of the H block and the height of it, uh, it just feels, whether or not it is, it just feels like a very extreme boot down angle. Um, I think that there are some redeeming qualities, but overall, I'm just not in love with the groove. I'm not in love with the boot down angle. That very uh, sharp sort of edge here as well. There's not much rounding going on here. Um, again, right, once you groove these in, I'm sure it's night and day, but as for my 15, 20 minute session on these, and I've skated these before. They're just not my favorite frames. So coming in at number seven are the most expensive frames that I skated today, the Master Blade frames. These were the favorite frames to grind on. But if I'm but as far as speed goes, the overall experience of this quote unquote flat frame, for as good as it is with grinding, it kind of it, it balances out in in like a not good way with how much slower it is than the other frames. I think, again, due to these small 47 millimeter wheels. Yeah, I just I feel like if I'm going to ride flat, I want all the you know, I want all the benefits of riding flat, including going very fast. I feel like if I was going to buy these, I might as well just ride anti rocker. Coming in at number six are the them skates street frames here. I didn't hate the frames, but I didn't love them either. Kind of a middle of the ground. I mean, it's a good frame. Don't get me wrong. It's just nothing really stood out in turn in uh, as far as things that I loved or hated necessarily. They are nice and solid, which I like. But overall, just I mean, I don't want to beat them up, but it's just nothing really stuck out to me too much. Stuck out to me too much. So street frames coming in at number five are the Adapt Symmetrics frames. What I really liked about these frames really was how fast they slid. I noticed these are probably the fastest sliding frames that I skated uh, for this video. I wasn't in love with the H block, but um, you know, it wasn't bad either. But overall, I like the frame a lot. They are nice and light too. They're very, very light frames, which is nice. And they slide super fast. Yeah, so adapt symmetrics. Coming in at number four are the Featherlight 4 frames here. I really liked the groove. Like I mentioned on ledges, I think I would want to groove this in a little bit just to sort of uh, just groove it in, get the feel for it better. But on rails, this groove is really, really nice. Lots of wheel bite protection. They slide really fast. They're super smooth. I think it's a really good all around frame. Again, I like the wheel bite protection big time. And uh, yeah, Featherlight Force. Number three, number three is the Sola Street Frames. I like these a lot. You know, I like, um, I'm not big on metal. At least I didn't think I was. But because these Oh, the sidewalls are quite thin and there aren't they're not a heavy metal frame uh pun intended rock and roll bum, 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 bum. um but they're reasonably light frame walls are nice and thin because they're nice and rigid and because they're nice and rigid there's a lot a lot of power transfer i like the h block even though this isn't from factory the way you know i skated it today this h block is is really great honestly it's super quiet super smooth good wheel bite protection and uh, I also do like that these metal frames are single-sided hardware. Um, it just less things to lose. Overall, they slide really, really well. The Sola frames, I think they're fantastic. Okay, so you may be racking your brain on which ones are in the top two here. So it is between the Kaltig V1s here and the uh, the Wish Medium frames. Curious which one you think I'm going to choose. It was quite close. I'll be honest, it was quite close. I did not think I was going to like the wish frames as much as I really did, man. These are fantastic. But at the end of the day, it was the Cultics that took number one. So wish frames here, number two overall. 
Um, let me talk about the wish frames really quick. Um, I like the wish frames a lot. They almost, almost, almost took number one. Why? Because they're plastic. You get this good, great sliding character characteristics of plastic. They're reasonably light. Uh, <clears throat> lots of wheel, ma massive wheel bite protection. You seem to almost, because you can put these big wheels on here, you seem to almost get the speed of some of the metal frames, but you get the slide and the weight of a plastic frame. At least that's my impression. Um, I mean, you are getting, you are, do you have larger wheels? So those are going to weigh a little bit more, but overall the height of the frame was not nearly as big of a deal as I thought it was going to be. Maybe it just looks kind of daunting, uh, in terms of height, but it's not nearly as extreme as I thought it was going to be. So I liked these a lot. And honestly, I'm pretty surprised that I liked them as much as I did. And so that's why they had number, they got number two. And then, like I said, number one, the Cultics. The Cultics to me, it just felt like um, I popped them on and they felt very natural from the very beginning, especially with this nice low frame, nice low H block. So you have super amounts of wheel bite protection. It's a funky H block, but I think it's something if you spend a little bit of time with, I could get used to really quick on ledges. On rails, it felt fantastic. It felt so secure with this deep H block in here. They slid really well. Um, and so to me, it was kind of, this was sort of the best frame for me that I skated. There you have it. And the Cultic V1s, I would, did not think, I did not think this list was going to end up like this. So again, hey, listen, don't go out and buy or not buy or whatever, like do your own research. But um, hey, this is just my impressions on these flat frames uh, after skating each one for about 15 or 20 minutes. I'm going to go back and I'm going to put my China Wire Stall Create Originals frames on my factions and they're going to be anti-rocker, but I had fun flating, flating, skating flat. Uh, for seven hours at the skate park today, but uh, probably won't be doing that again. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.